At richnotohomes.com, find the house you're looking for in Central Florida, Orlando, Kissimmee area. Are you interested in a full-time living residential house or a vacation home? Investing in a rental income property? Thinking about selling your home? Look no further than richnotohomes.com. Dependable help from start to finish. Don't make a mistake along the way. Go to richnotohomes.com. Hey everybody, Rich Noto here, Florida licensed realtor, Florida licensed home inspector, Florida noted public with loan signing agent certification, your construction trained realtor. And being construction trained is one of the many things that separates me apart from the other realtors. They don't have any construction based licensing certifications or training, so they don't understand construction. When you're buying a new construction house, if you're building from start to finish, that's just so important. I mean, it's the most important thing you could possibly do. And even if you're buying a house that's completed or used resale, you want somebody on your side that can help you spot defects because in all the years I've been doing this, every house that I have ever seen has defects. There is no house that's defect free. It's just a matter of whether you want the builder to fix it or you want to spend hundreds or thousands of dollars after you close to fix it yourself over the coming months and years. I think there's only one small choice. It's to let the builders fix it. And of course, that's a general statement. It's not about here or another place or anywhere. It's just general. And my service is also essentially free to you because the builder does pay it. It's use it or lose it. This house behind me is the Lincoln. It is 2,862 square feet, three beds, three and a half bathrooms, study, and a three car garage. So this is a very large house and it looks so much larger than what the square footage says. I wonder if this is a single story or if this has a bit of um, a second floor loft or anything. So I'm excited because I don't know if I have a video of a Lincoln or not. And if I do, it's probably been a while but I do have like way too many videos at this point. But let's go inside and take a look. We are at Esplanade at the islands, or Esplanade by the islands. And this is from Taylor Morrison. And of course, if you go to a home builder alone, you may lose or avoid your ability to have realtor representation, especially the paid for by the builder representation. So it's always a great idea to contact me first. And again, it's as simple as a text message or two or an email or a call, whatever you prefer to get started. And it's always better to ask questions before you get too serious with looking. So I just want to step back out here because I was staring at the inside of the house through the glass door. Three car garage. And this driveway, at least for this model, is very wide. You know, yours might vary. And you got this covered entryway, which is super high. Boy, it's hot outside today and it feels good in here. It really does. So straight ahead is your living room. To the left is a bedroom. And to the right, we have a half bath and it looks like another bedroom. So here's your half bathroom, your sink and your toilet. And here's your closet. And we're out in Naples, Florida. I don't know if I said that we're out in Naples. And these Esplanade communities are the best of the best as far as communities that have really nice landscaping, how they look, and the amenities. Now some of these Esplanades are 55 and over communities, some of them are not.
Beautiful. So you have a bedroom at the front of the house with its own attached bathroom. Some people call it an end suite. Some might say it's a second master bedroom. It doesn't always need two sinks to be a master bedroom. I've seen that with several builders over the years. So let's see, to the left we have the dining room. I was looking at the seats, kind of interesting for a, for a dining room because it looks like they're like couch seats. And what do we have here? We got a sink and a, a wine bar, wine fridge. Ah, so some big room. Wow. Very big master bedroom for sure. Look at that. The sky keeps rumbling outside. So master bedroom for sure with two closets. And what do we have here? Rain shower head and a walk in shower. Very nice, I like this tile. And it's tiled all the way up to the ceiling. At least for this model, you know, you always have to keep that in mind. When you go to the design center at Taylor Morrison, there's so many so many options to choose from it's it's incredible I've been to their uh, design centers more than once over the years so I'm looking at the island this kind of island is becoming more and more popular especially in homes that are this size and up I'm not going to open the door in case there's a pool alarm. There might be. Just take a look at that huge lanai or covered patio, whatever you want to call it. They got the grill, the sink, all that. You know, a lot of this stuff that you're looking at is, is upgrades. Like this house is probably like the best it can be. Yeah, look at the size of this pantry. And these seats, yeah, it's kind of like, I don't know, like, it doesn't seem like the kind of seats you would have at a kitchen table where, like, food can get on them. But this is a model, it's not, <laughs> you know, it's not real life. Okay, so the Lincoln, let's talk about it briefly. Huge master bedroom. This master bedroom is definitely, definitely, I think, a selling point of this house. Two closets and this great bathroom. Is my name tag? Yeah, my name tag is straight. So, beautiful house. And if you've been watching my videos, you know that I'm not a huge fan of single story homes, but this, this is a nice one. It really is. Even if it wasn't upgraded as much as this is, it's, it's very nice. I like that you have more than one uh, bedroom that has an attached bathroom. I think that's great. And let's see if there was a bedroom there. And there was a bedroom over here with the bathroom. I don't even know if I actually walked in here. I might not have. I'm trying to think which way I came in. But 
Yeah, here's a full bathroom. I go down here, I don't know. Oh, the laundry. Yeah, I don't think I... I don't think I went down here. I think I'm still in shock at the other house. Garage. Entry. Yeah, that garage is a storage. I'm going to pass on that. I do appreciate everyone stopping by to watch this. Please check out my website at richnotohomes.com. And again, if you're interested in purchasing a house over here or anywhere in the state of Florida, please don't hesitate to reach out and contact me. You can get me by phone, email, or text. And if you can't reach me one way, try another. Sometimes emails, texts don't make it. Sometimes calls don't go through either. So thanks again. Hope you have a great day. Prior to being a realtor, I purchased a house without a realtor and then with a realtor who had no construction training, no construction certification. And I can tell you that it's extremely important to have a realtor with construction certification. Here's how to get my service paid for by the builder free to you. Please contact me first before you contact any home builder. When you contact the home builder first, you may lose your paid for by the builder realtor representation. If you email them, call them, text them, go to the sales office, walk the models anything that they can match up at the time of contract they may say you cannot use a realtor please don't contact the builder and ask what their policies are either because that would be your first contact you see how this works when I went to purchase my first house I was given terrible advice everybody told me I had to pay for a realtor which is just not true I had no realtor and it was terrible from start to finish it was exhausting I was treated poorly at sales offices and after I signed my contract the salesperson basically vanished on me it was just a terrible experience when I purchased my second house I knew I needed a realtor so I started searching I encountered top sellers who seemed impressive but they were just high pressure sales they were telling me to go to the builder tell them I'm your realtor when you pick out the house you want contact me and I'll come down and help you they would show me two homes three homes ask me which one do I want to buy many of them couldn't even respond properly to an email which is much like when I help my buyers to find resale homes many of the realtors that are selling these homes it's like they don't even read what you wrote. So my realtor ended up being a new realtor. He was loyal. He went with me to like 20 builders that I picked out. He wasn't selling me out to sales associates. He wasn't selling me out to other realtors. He wasn't selling me out to resale home sellers. He was no doubt on my side. So like most realtors, the realtor that I picked had no construction training, no certification. At the time, I didn't even consider it. As we went from house to house with new construction, with resales, there were times I had questions and he didn't know or he was kind of guessing and he would at least tell me he's just guessing. The information that I received was incorrect. I realized that home inspectors are there to look over a house and find issues with them. But let's face it, the home inspector is with you for two hours, three hours looking at the house that you're interested in buying. Your realtor is with you, if the realtor is a good realtor, for potentially six months, 12 months while a new construction house is being built. Your realtor is going to be the one that's going to be there with you when you're dealing with rude, obnoxious construction managers that are lying to you when the home is built incorrectly and they just want you to just go away. They want you to just sign, say the house is okay, or it's going to be passed off the warranty, and that's it. So having a realtor without construction background is not a good idea. And if I was going to be buying a house in another state, even though I have a home inspector's license and I am trained, I would still want to find a realtor that is construction trained because the more eyes, the better. Everybody's going to spot something different. Just some quick tips. Just want you to understand that. I believe in a comprehensive realtor service where I could answer and guide and look at home inspection reports and have an understanding of what's going on and how to help my buyers best. Thanks for watching this. Back to the video.